Hey guys, John here. This video is going to cover the keyword static. Now, things that can be static are just about anything. You can have public static classes, you can have static variables, um, you can have static functions, and w the reason why they're so unique is because there's a few pros and cons that make it very valuable to use. Now, right off the bat, I want to go over the cons. The cons of a static variable or function is that the memory is taken up indefinitely for the life of your program. Um, in other words, we have in C Sharp this thing called the garbage collection. Every time you use the new keyword, garbage collection is called to free up memory. Well, when something is static, you can't use the new keyword with it. So for instance, if you were to create a static uh, function like this. So here's our static example. And say I created a static variable. So public int, um, whoops, sorry, public static int, and then my int, okay? Now, right now, this variable is taking up memory for the life of my program. That right there is reason enough not to go buck wild with static variables or functions for that matter. Um, they are useful in situations though. For instance, when we get into manager classes, like for instance with the singleton design, um, it allows you easy access to this variable. For instance, in before static variables, we would have to get a handle to the component we want and then access that component and then grab the variable. Right? It's class inheritance in Unity. I have a video on that. You can go watch it. Well, with a static variable, I can literally hop on into my player class here and I can access that variable directly. Directly, I can literally just type the class name, so it was in static example, dot my int. And I can actually change that value right here. Now, yes, that's convenient, but like I said, that memory is taken up now for the entire life of the application. So it's very bad to do that. Don't do it. Now, why am I telling you about statics if they're bad? Because they are, there are good cases for them. Uh, for instance, when you have uh, a utilities class or a helpers class and you get into creating your own namespaces which we're going to cover in the next video they require static members um, and static members are good things to have so for instance here we have public static in my int and then here we can have a static function as well so we can have here pretend this was a, a helper class we could have here public static um, set position to zero all right, so it's just a function that gets called set position to zero, and all it's going to do is going to be public static needs a type. We're going to say vector three set position to zero, and it's going to return vector three dot zero. Okay, now it's static, so we can easily access it. I can say in the player here, I can say transform dot position equals static example dot set position to zero. All right, if we go and test that out, cube has our player script there you'll see here it's going to set my position to zero. That's great. Now when you're using it for instances like that where you have a helper class, it's perfect to do. What's a bad idea is if you're being lazy and you're using it to access all your variables. Remember, especially in mobile games, memory is everything. Your game can crash if it's taken up too much memory too quickly. Um, yes, you don't get the garbage collection, however, you're taking up space that could be used by other things. Um, but pretty much that's really it. Static variables, there's really not much to explain. You can have static classes, for instance, uh, if you did here, you see how we have public class player inherits from mono behavior. Uh, you can also do here, uh, public static class player. Now the problem with static classes now is, and there's really no reason to make a class static. I don't think there ever is unless it's an abstract class, which we'll probably get into in the advanced series. Uh, however, if a class is static, I do not believe you can inherit from it, and we're about to find out. Yep. So it says static class cannot derive. So if you're doing a static class, then it needs to not derive from anything. It just gives you easy access. So that's really what static variables are. They give you easy access. They don't require the new keyword, which calls the garbage collection. The bad part is that they you know, they take up memory indefinitely and it stays there for the life of the application. Now, positive uses for this are for your manager classes. For instance, you can only have one instance of a static class or a variable or something like that. So when, when you have a static variable, there's one instance of it, meaning it can't be instantiated. So it's created 
when you use it and it's it stays it's never going to get destroyed it can't be destroyed it's static it stays there forever um, and like I said a good use for that is with manager classes when we get into singletons we're going to use it to keep track of a static instance of our singleton so we can act so we can uh, direct it or I'm sorry we can access it directly and use its public functions uh, we're also going to get into properties when we do that but uh, this is just to give you a short video on static variables, just so we can uh, have a little primer uh, for namespaces. Thanks, guys. Make sure you're following on Facebook, DigitalGamingInstitute.com, and go pick up a copy of my book. Thanks.